Shalom and welcome to Kappa Torah. My name is Hannah Tamar. I am so sorry I have not been on social media. I've been dealing with some migraine headaches, but I wanted to get on today to tell you about the holiday that's actually coming tonight, Wednesday night till Thursday night. It's called Lag La Omer or Lag Bomer. A little brief history about the holiday. During 130 CE, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not a historian, that was a time where um, the scholarly Jews tried to revolt against the Roman Empire because Jews were persecuted, like normal. Um, so written down in the Talmud, it's written that there was a plague. The reason why we call it a plague is because if somebody would write or talk about the revolution, they would be, um, they, would, they would die. So um, we found a loophole and called it a plague. During the month of Omer, you mourn the loss of these scholarly Jews um, during this plague. And as Lag Bomer comes, that's the time where this plague ended and we could rejoice and we could be free to be Jewish, however we choose to be. We start the night with a big, huge bonfire. Now, I like to think of the bonfire as a, as a, um, it's dark and then dark days and then one little tiny spark lights this, uh, amazingness and it only takes one tiny spark to um, fuel this amazing fire a fire either inside of you or just physical fire I like to take my plagues that I have been working on through the month of Omer by doing the counting I do a um, meditation or I write in a journal and whatever is plaguing me at the time I um, mentally throw into the fire. If you want to physically write down all the things that are plaguing you and th physically throw it into the fire, that sounds amazing. Tell me if, um, if it helps you. Watching that, watching your plagues burn and watching this energy um, and fuel, the light fueling you and um, this energy fueling your soul to become a better person and to um, just to rejoice in being alive. And, you know, out of the darkest days, there comes a light. And it sounds like I just quoted Harry Potter, kind of. Oh, well. During the day of Lag Bomer, we do all these picnics, and there's tons of barbecues. And it's a very communal um, holiday. Um, every time I smell barbecue, I say, oh, what's that smell? It's a very inviting um, smell to me, at least. So, uh when we do our barbecues, I, I mentally picture like the smoke going out and as an invitation, like, hey, come and hang with us. We've got amazing stuff on the barbecue. Come on, come on. One thing I teach my students is that um, you cannot be a lonely Jew. And what that means is you, you cannot practice Judaism alone and you need to have a community. Whatever community means to you, uh, community can mean one thing um, for one person and can mean another thing for another person, but you can't live fully without a community, without um, partnership and with other people. And um, Lag Bomer is a reminder to about community that you cannot fully understand things without experiencing it, without um, getting involved with uh, with it or with your community. One quote that comes to my mind is from Benjamin Franklin. Um, it's, uh, tell me and I will forget, teach me and I will remember, involve me and I will learn. And that's all what Lag Lomer is about, is getting involved to learn, to experience um, to experience what this tragedy and the aftermath and the enjoyment of, of being alive and being able to express yourself however you want to express, express yourself. This Lag Lomer, um, it starts again tonight and goes till Thursday night, Start your fire, uh, light your fire, whether it's in, inside of you or a physical fire. Throw your plagues in there, physically or mentally, and um, feel that warmth, feel that spark, that energy that comes from it. Take those ashes and um, spread them around and start anew. Um, I like to take my 
bonfire ashes and spread them around my garden to actually see growth of, um, of what's going on, um, like my flowers growing from the ashes, kind of like a phoenix growing from its ashes. But spread your, uh, spread your fire, spread your spark. Um, get involved into your community and encourage other people to, to, to feel how you're feeling. Encourage enjoyment. Um, spread love. Spread, uh, spread joy. So again, I hope everyone has a wonderful Laglomer or Lagbomer. And um, I hope that spark, this sparks something in you and a flame comes from this and this energy arrives from you and uh, spread, spread this out to your community. Spread your love out to your community. And on that note, I will say, Shalom.